The reason why most people never lose that belly fat or get that lean physique that they want is simply because they're not following this nutritional pyramid or they're skipping to stage three and disregarding the order. After working with hundreds and hundreds of clients over the last decade, this pyramid has never failed and that's because it's personalized to you and it's not just a one size fits all. Number one, and the base of the pyramid is gonna be sustainability. This obviously has to be at the very bottom because we know without a base, it'll all come tumbling down. So this will immediately write off all fad diets for 99% of people. That means no keto, no shake diets, no stupid 500 calorie crash diets, basically anything that you can't see yourself doing in a year's time, write it off, you shouldn't be doing it. And honestly, this is where most people go wrong. They completely skip past stage one and then they wonder why they can never lose the belly fat or they do a fad diet or a crash diet and if they have very strong willpower and discipline they manage to hold off just long enough fight those cravings to see some results to see some progress but as soon as they stop that diet or give in to the cravings because they've restricted so much they simply put all that weight back on and sometimes even more so for most of you this is going to look like a balanced approach where 80 to 90 percent of your food and your calories comes through whole food nutritious sources and the other 20% comes through your fun foods, AKA your favorite foods. Now, sustainability also means making your food and your eating habits fit into your current lifestyle and schedule. For example, if you work long days in a hectic job that requires a lot of your time, then something like doing six meals a day is probably not gonna be ideal for you because it's gonna be a massive ball egg. You're not gonna have time to cook, clean, prep, and the whole thing's gonna feel overwhelming and you probably won't even wanna get started. So if that was you, maybe a more simple approach with two to three big meals, maybe something super simple like a protein shake or something you can grab and go, that would work 10 times better and will make your life 10 times easier. Now you're eating foods that you can sustain and they fit easily into your lifestyle. So moving up from here to lose that belly fat, we have to start nailing those daily calories. And honestly, I don't think we need to go super deep here. I'm pretty sure you've probably heard this a thousand times before, but that's because it's true. To lose belly fat, to lose body fat, you just need to be eating in a calorie deficit, which just means eating less calories than you burn on a daily basis. To make this sustainable for you, again, back to step one, I'd recommend eating in between 300 to 600 calories below your maintenance. 300 being on the much slower side, if you want steady progress, it's gonna be a little bit slower. 600 being a little bit on the faster side where you're gonna see faster results, of course, you're gonna be eating a little bit less calories. There's not much else you need to know about calories right now, but the next step will determine whether the weight you lose is actually body fat or it's just weight in general. Moving one level up from there, we have macros slash protein. If you are hitting this calorie target 100% and you're sustaining it for a long period of time, you will definitely lose weight. But here's the thing, if you do just hit the calories and you don't hit a protein target, you will lose that weight, but you're gonna lose muscle in the process and then you're gonna just wind up having that skinny fat look that I know you don't want. So for your daily protein goal, I recommend hitting two grams per kilogram of your body weight you can go down to 1.7 grams, but I would never go under that. Two grams just makes a simple math as well, and you're better off to be higher than lower. So if I weigh 80 kilograms, I'd wanna be eating at least 160 grams of protein every single day. And if you're unsure what foods are high in protein, just screenshot this list here for a good reference. Moving up, number four is micros, AKA micronutrients. Micronutrients is all your vitamins and minerals found in whole food sources, which is why in step one, we said to aim to get 80 to 90% of your foods through whole food sources. See how this is all starting to tie in together now? So if you neglect micronutrients, it's not only gonna be extremely hard to stick to your plan because these are generally the most filling foods most of the time, but also micronutrients and the vitamins and minerals that you eat is what helps you feel good on a daily basis. So if you're feeling absolutely trash, the first thing you should probably look at is your diet. But the reason that micros is step four and it's after one, two, and three is because you can still overeat on whole food sources and just restricting your food choices to 100% whole clean food sources is extremely, extremely hard to do. Trust me, I've tried. It's also important to keep in mind that not all whole food sources are low in calories. You see this tiny little pot of nuts here? It's about two handfuls and just went all over my counter. That has 480 calories in it right there. That is more calories than a double cheeseburger. And lastly, we have supplements. Now supplements are last on the list because they are not needed whatsoever, like whatsoever to get results. And honestly, so many people, including myself when I first started training, when I was like 16, skip straight to supplements before they even know how many calories they should be consuming. It's actually insane and it's why the supplement industry is a billion dollar industry. Now, of course, they can be useful and 
I actually do recommend them to some of my clients and you're probably thinking, well, Alex, that's a bit hypocritical because it's stage five, but that's the key, it's stage five. So if you've ticked every other box, if you're following a plan that's sustainable, you've got your calories down packed, you've got at least your protein intake down packed, 80 to 90% of your nutrition is coming through whole food sources, so you're not neglecting your vitamins and minerals, then 100% add in a couple of supplements because they will make the process easier. But again, the ones that you should be taking are very, very limited. So these are basically the only two I actually recommend to my clients. And the first one that I recommend to all my clients is a whey protein. Literally any good brand is totally fine. The reason for that is because it just makes hitting your protein target so much easier. It's actually cost effective if you get a good brand that isn't overhyped compared to lean meats and there's no cooking and cleaning with whey protein. And the second is gonna be creatine monohydrate. Now, I don't recommend this to every client, just the ones that are looking to get that extra few percent out of their training, but they're already very consistent with their training, they're tracking, everything's going according to plan and they just wanna push a little bit harder. Creatine monohydrate, five grams every single day, even on rest days, that's literally all you need. Now, the last thing that I wanna mention is when it comes to losing body fat, unfortunately, you cannot pick and choose where you lose it from. So even if you do wanna lose belly fat, you can't specifically target from there. You generally will lose body fat all around if you follow those steps that we just laid out. And you will lose fat faster from some areas than others, but that's completely down to genetics and you can't change that, so don't try. But don't let that discourage you because if you follow that pyramid and you stick with that in order, I guarantee you'll 100% lose body fat and you'll be sweet. Just don't be fooled into marketing scams and advertisements being like, we can target your lower belly fat with these abs and these supplements and blah, 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 because it's all BS. I seriously hope that video was helpful. And if you do want to learn more about losing belly fat, body fat all round, and if you can eat more food whilst losing weight, then I suggest you check out this video here.